Lovely. I got all the questions here from the higher four circuits. So every question they've done four circuits. Use your formula sheet, a couple more uh, equations, um, then the foundation. So we might be using those now. I'm going to stick that down there. And the first question, nice six mark at the start. Describe how you'd investigate the current voltage characteristics for a diode. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is give me a bit of space here. I'm going to draw it. So oh, that, that's a shocking battery or a cell, but hopefully yours would be a little bit neater than mine. I did this in a bit of a hurry. I've got my ammeter in series to measure the current. I've got my variable resistor there. It's going to be changing the resistance. I've got my component, which in this case is going to be a diode. It could give you one of three. It could give you a filament lamp. It could give you a diode or it could give you a resistor. And there's my voltmeter going across in parallel to the component, and it's going to measure the voltage. So what have I said? Uh, I got like six big bullet points here. Set the VR to maximum. VR meaning variable resistor. Set the maximum setting to, so it doesn't allow any voltage or current to flow. So you should have readings for zero. After the VR, um, alter, sorry, not after, alter the VR to get a chosen value for voltage. I tell you what I haven't put in there, which I keep forgetting every time. Oh no, because I'm going to come to that in a second. Yeah, so I, I say it there. So I'm going to alter the VR to get a, a chosen value for voltage. So voltage is my independent variable. I'm going to choose these settings. Um... I'm going to take the current then at every reading there that I'm going to say. So I'm going to increase incrementally in even steps. Take readings for current using an ammeter. What I should say really is the ammeter needs to be in series, but then I've put it in series anyway, so you might not lose marks for that. And then uh, the important thing with a diode is that you reverse the battery to obtain a series of results for negative values. And then that's going to show you that there are no negative results for, uh, or values for the negative results. Because that's what a diode does. It just, um, it's just in one direction, isn't it? Only allows current to flow in one direction. Um, and that's what I've said there. So that's pretty much your six marks um, there. And then it's, uh, it's giving you some axes. And it wants you to draw this and for two marks. I think that's, that's, that's quite a nice two, two marks there. Um, and then we're on to another question. So that's that one. Next question. Students uh, investigating the current voltage characteristics of a filament lamp in the space below. below. Draw the circuit diagram that you would use. So another standard test circuit here. You've got my ammeter on. I don't know why I put it on this side. That could be absolutely anywhere in this circuit. Same as this fella. Your variable resistor can be absolutely anywhere. For this time, it's a filament lamp and the voltmeter across it in parallel. The student collects the following results. So they're going to give you some results here. Everything looks okay. Voltage, amps, no milliamps or anything like that. So it's going to ask me to plot them. Defo. And I've got to give a scale here. So I've chosen to go up in 0.2s because my maximum value was 1.1 uh, on the current. And then 12 on the bottom, I think there was just um, the right amount of squares there. So I've done my scale, it's going to give me a mark. I've plotted my results, and I've done a nice curve, and I think that's worth three marks, yeah. She concludes that the resistance of the lamp decreases as voltage increases. Explain, using your calculations, whether you agree or disagree with this conclusion. Well, let's take some readings. At four volts... The current is, uh, and I've done this, so for 4 volts, I've said the current is 0 0.74. Got that from there. So I'm going to use um, an equation from the front sheet. So I'm going to use I equals V over R. To put that in a triangle, I'm going to leave V on top and bring I down. So V I R. And to rearrange that is going to be R equals V over I. So that's going to be 4 over 0 0.74 equals 5.4 ohms. Okay. So let's try it because what she's saying now is voltage increases. 
so she concludes the resistance of the lamp decreases as voltage increases. Well, let's have a look. So I've got 5.4 of 4 there. Let's pick another one. Let's pick 8. Let's see what my current is. 1.06. I've got that from there. Okay, I've picked uh, 8. And I've gone to there, 0 0.1.06. And then I've calculated the how many ohms. And you can see that resistance is actually increasing as voltage increases so i've disagreed with that statement and i've also done another one just to be sure there and it goes up to 10.1 ohms so it definitely increases as voltage increases another question here uh, a group of students set up the following circuit by the way ignore all this i did this for fun just because i wanted to so ignore this by here um, there's my equation from the front sheet because uh, it's going to be asking me to calculate the voltage through R1. So through R1, what do we know? Well, we know that the uh, voltage is 12. Um, no, we don't know the voltage. That's the whole point. We don't know the voltage through this bit because uh, we know the voltage gets split across these two. Because that you can you could think of this as... If this was one resistor, what do we know about voltage in a series circuit? It gets split across the two, and resistance would uh, and current would stay the same. But this time, we know the current and we know the resistance. We don't know how much voltage is in this bit because it obviously gets split. So I'm going to work it out. V equals I times R. So that's literally two times two. It's going to give me four volts. Now, because this is a twelve volt battery. If I've got four volts here and it gets split, they need to add back up. So if I've got four here, I've got eight here. And what do we know about voltage in a parallel circuit now? Well, voltage stays the same. So there's going to be eight volts going across each bit here. And then, so eight plus four is going to give me that 12 there. And I'm going to need that for the next question. Use your answer to part one to calculate the current through each of the parallel resistors with four marks. There's two ways you can do this. I can... Do the calculation for each. So I said there, so for R1, my voltage is 4, like I just said. So R2 plus R3 must be 8 volts. Because 12 minus 4 is 8 volts. So in each of these resistors is 12 volts. Uh, 8 volts, sorry. So to calculate my current, I equals V over R. Again, from my equation sheet, my if my voltage is 8 and my first one I'm going to do is going to be 12, 8 over 12 is going to be 0 0.67 amps. So that's my first one. Now, I just do the same calculation for my second one. My second value is 6 ohms. Look. So I'm going to be putting 8 over 6, and that's going to give me 1.33. And 1.33 add 0 0.67 comes to 2, 2 amps. Well, we know that in a series circuit and if we if we collapse these you can think that if there's two amps going through this there's got to be two amps getting split now because it's it's a parallel so everything from within this little box is going to add up to two because there's two amps and then it gets split and then they're going to add back up to two amps per year so if we already calculated the one to be 0 0.67 and we know that must be two I could have also done a little calculation uh, like this, look. So 2 minus 0 0.67 is going to be 1.33. And that's another way you could have got your four marks there. I like that question. And just as a just as a side project, I wanted to find out the total resistance by just having to play with that formula. 1 over R equals 1 over R plus R1 plus R, 1 over R2. And I did that. 1 over 12 plus 1 over 6 come out with a quarter or 0 0.25 and then I take the reciprocal to get R on its own, 1 over 0 0.25 equals 4 ohms. I just wanted to do that. I just 